All right, so welcome back. This is gonna be a, probably the final POV test drive I do with my TCM for now. So currently it's sat over there in the car and it finally has automatic mode. So I think it would give that a little try in all three modes. I've got agility, comfort, and standard right now. There you go, there's a little confirmation beep to say it's started up. And I'll switch to my fancy transmission page. If you haven't seen my new TCM series part I released like a month ago or so, please go check that out and you'll understand what this display is showing. But I will flick it into comfort mode to begin with. There we go, we're in drive two. Let's head off. So since the last time, uh, so by the way, do stick around on this video because I am going to be talking as much as I can through this, as long as I don't crash. Famous last words. But yeah, I'm going to talk to you guys about uh, what I've been up to as well as what my plans are for this module now that it's nearly ready for mass testing. So if you have applied already to the beta program for this, um, I've released a form link, but it's in some of my previous videos. I might not link it in this one since I'm nearing my capacity for testing. Um, I have sent emails out to those people who have applied in Mercedes vehicles. I know some people did apply in non-Mercedes vehicles and I haven't actually uh, responded to those because this is meant to be Mercedes only for now. Like I will get around to putting the TCM in more vehicles which are non-Merc but just for now I want to focus on the Mercedes only side of things so yeah. But yeah check your emails if you've applied in the Mercedes vehicles because I've likely sent you an email and it might have ended up in your spam but anyway there's the change to third gear. Pretty smooth. And we're gonna go back down into second now. And I'm gonna keep my hands up here on the steering wheel so that you know that I am not changing gears um, using the paddles. Nice and smooth. And there's fourth gear. Actually, one thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna reset my uh, fuel economy counter and we're gonna do the little test run and we're gonna see what the fuel economy counter is because historically it's been pretty bad with my uh, with me changing gears, but I want to see if the computer can do a better job than I can for efficiency. And yeah, the weather is not very fortunate for driving tonight. It's pretty rainy, kind of miserable and roads are wet. But yeah, anyway, so since the last video I published about a month ago or so, I've been mainly focusing on pressure regulation and the algorithm for upshifting and downshifting. So there's now two stages to how this gearbox decides on pressure. Firstly, depending on what mode you're in, they have a correction table. So that's very smooth going into third gear. Um, they have a correction table which they look up to say like, hey, so should I be shifting harsher or softer, depending on what mode I'm in? Also that, that uh, figure bias towards harsh or soft shifting depends on how you're driving, if you're turning corners or whatever. There's quite a bit of judgment the TCM does before it can do that. The second part of the, uh, the system which dictates how to change gears is the actual manager which dictates, uh, which asks like, should I change gears now? That's mainly based on your accelerator input versus how the car is accelerating, as well as um, downshifting as well. So if I put my foot down here, there we go, there's third gear. and going into fourth and fifth. So yeah, comfort is very, very smooth. And standard's a little harsher than comfort and it also starts in first gear. Comfort will start in second. So let's slow down here. There's third gear. Okay, it wants me to stay in third gear for this turn. That's fine. Also, I've developed a new algorithm for locking up the torque converter. So basically the torque converter can now learn from nothing. So you put it in your new car and the TCM learns over a course of about an hour as to how the torque converter in your car behaves. And I've been able to do it now so that with a, so my gearbox has a really bad damper valve uh, in the hydraulic valve body, which normally means that when cold especially, the gearbox will almost kick when you're accelerating very slowly in second gear. So the torque converter suddenly locks, the gearbox, the stock TCM will panic and then it will unlock the converter again. So based on the way that mine learns, it can actually overcome that issue entirely um, and still be very, very smooth. But the only downside is it takes about an hour to an hour and a half of driving for it to understand how your torque converter works properly. So it takes a while to learn, but once it's learned, it's smooth as hell. Oh, that was second, it wanted second there. Third, fourth. That was 
very weird. Okay, it chose second like already when my RPMs were increasing pretty quickly. Uh, I hate algorithms, they're sometimes so finicky. But anyway, standard mode is what you'd expect from S mode in a normal uh, 722.6 gearbox, nothing special. The real special one here is agility mode, which gives you extremely quick shifting. Um, like, and also the pedal response here, like if I tap my foot down now, see how quickly the gearbox changes gears? Like unlike the stock one where you put your foot down and it waits like a second or two before changing gears, this one is instantaneous. Um, that's because the way that this gearbox works is it's always checking in the background if a gear if a gear change can be accomplished, if, whether that be up down up shifting or down shifting, it always checks on the fly if that can be done. So then when one of my profiles, which that would be S, C, or A mode, say, "Hey, I want to change gears now and I want to do an up shift," the gearbox just goes, "Okay, yeah, that's fine," or "No, I can't do that." So yeah, um, everything is on the fly with this controller, unlike the stock one, where everything would happen in a sequence of steps, which is very slow. So let me now put it in A. So my profile here goes red to say I'm in Sport Plus. And this is extremely quick shifting. And yeah, I'm testing this in like an old diesel CDI, but you know what? Like, it's been remapped. It's got a bit more, it's got quite a bit more power than, um, it originally had with the gearbox and even with stock amounts of power the gearbox was struggling to change gears I'm so impressed with how this has become now and now I want to see if I can bring it down to first gear because in agility mode the harshness of the shift from first to second if you have your foot stomped to the floor actually breaks traction which is insane considering this gearbox would literally never do that but I'm gonna try pushing it into second now there we go third See how quick that shift was? Fourth. Fifth. It's just so quick and I love it. I love this controller now. Because it is beyond responsive. Like again, you want fourth gear now? There's fourth gear. Like, no questions asked when you put your foot to the floor. It's just like, okay, fourth gear. And it's amazing how much just software new software running on this gearbox can improve the characteristics of something which like to be fair the 722.6 yeah it came out in like 2000 but it was probably designed in the 80s or so <clears throat> so yeah i've kind of fallen in love with this uh controller now and i do not want to get rid of my c-class i know this c-class was a bit of a shitbox when i got it but like with my new controller in it it's actually really responsive and i love it i cannot understate that so yeah, it's gone to fourth because it's realized I'm putting more load on it going up this hill. There we go. And then it goes immediately into fifth gear once I take my foot off the accelerator. No lag time whatsoever. Also, one thing this gearbox controller does is when you first put it in the car, whenever, it, whenever you have your foot stomped to the floor, it logs how much torque your engine produces. So it knows where your power band is in your engine. So if you have it tuned, you can just reset that at a that torque curve and it will relearn no questions asked whereas before with a stock controller the stock tcm would actually have a map for every single engine which the tcm would run on so like om646 um with uh, 85 kilowatt 100 kilowatt hour uh, kilowatts of power and it would apply one of those maps depending on what the scn coding of the tcm would say the scn is basically like configuration if you will and then yeah, so my one learns on the fly exactly how your car is. So if you have, I know some of my testers have AMG monster cars that they have tuned to high hell, it will learn with that and it will say, okay, I will try changing gears in this configuration. So I'm gonna turn around now, around here, and we're gonna head back the way we came. There we go. But yeah, in agility mode as well, if you don't have your foot that far on the accelerator, it feels like standard mode, like it's very nice. It's just when you have your foot to the floor and it's like, okay, you're sporty now, it will change gears really quickly for you. But one thing I should probably note is that this controller does not currently, it's not currently aware with how much changing gears at a harsh pressure would damage the gearbox. It just kind of says, I'm trying to target like a 300 millisecond shift time, I will do what it takes to get there. 
so I still have some learning to do with this gearbox and that's partly the reason why I have a tester program because the tester program is hey I don't know if your gearbox might survive five years with this controller in it I want to test with it to be sure now anyway now that there's no one behind me I'm gonna slow down put it into first gear come on and then floor it yep broke traction third Fourth, fifth. But yeah, it breaks traction going from first to second, which is great. Like, I know my CDI produces not that much power, so for it to be able to break traction like that means with people with like the higher performance engines, like M1, M112 and M113Ks, uh, you guys will have fun with this controller. I pretty much guarantee that. Well, you'll have as much fun as the gearbox allows before it breaks, but yeah. Yeah, anyway, um, no, but this guy's coming up on me pretty quickly. Oh. Yeah, anyway, I thought I'd just do this little test drive to show you guys and explain what's been going on. So, I thought I'd move on to the next topic now, which is what's going to happen in the future. So, currently we have this beta program whereby people who want to test my control in their gearboxes are paying and paying for parts and whatever and I'm ordering these PCBs making them myself and shipping them now if this gets a lot of demand I can't sit there by hand assembling each one of these PCBs it's not practical for me because they take forever to assemble and you know I'm not good at soldering I'm gonna put it back into comfort now but my plan is if I get enough demand for this I'm gonna have to order them in batches because I don't have enough money right now to be able to make these like on the fly whereby if someone orders them I make one PCB so what I'm probably gonna end up doing is I'm gonna probably order them in batches of 20 or 30 or so um, and it will be like a pre-order program so you'd end up pre-ordering for your controller then once I get enough people uh, paid for it then I will go ahead and order all the components uh, or the pre-made piece sorry order the pre-made PCBs um, I don't quite know which manufacturing firm I want to use, whether that be JLC PCB, PCB Way, or um, Maker Fabs. Haven't quite worked that out yet, but also the production boards will have a conformal coating on them so that they will be more resistant to uh, moisture. Because I know, especially in a lot of these uh, various other Mercedes, the TCM, unlike mine, where it's inside the car over there, is inside the engine bay. So I'm going to have to uh, be cautious of that. But yeah, the beta program is currently a mixture of Mercedes vehicles, which uh, I've selected based on like their uniqueness. Like, okay, I've got like one guy from E55, one guy with a CL600, um, and then a bunch of other people with lower end vehicles, because I want to test in all these engine configuration and car configurations if the TCM works well. Because currently the only car this TCM has been in is my OM646 uh, 2006 CDI. Come on, be smooth. There we go. That's nice and smooth. Um, so yeah, I thought that would probably be about it for this video. I wish you all a um, Merry Christmas because I'm filming this on Christmas Eve right now, late in the evening, just doing some driving of rainy weather. But yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments, I suppose, and I will get around to answering them. Um, as I said, I will probably, actually, yeah, I'll leave the beta program form link if I've got some spaces, I'll check when I upload this video. If I've still got spaces available for the beta program, I will put the link to that application form in the video description. And then probably sometime this weekend, I'll get around to emailing new applicants with what to do next uh, for regarding communication and payments and stuff like that. But anyway, I uh, hope you all have a Merry Christmas and I will see you guys sometime soon on this channel. Bye for now.